Hello everyone, my name is Agustin Caroso and welcome to our station. In this episode, I'm gonna teach you how you can create a wave background inside of Webflow, such as this. All right, let's get started. All right, so what I want to do here inside of Webflow is to create a transition between this orange background and this white background and creating a wave here. Now, sadly, we can do this. We cannot do this inside of Webflow because as we know, web design, it's all based around boxes. But what we can do is actually create a wave outside of Webflow and bring it in, bring it in very easily. So my choice of weapon for, the ta for this task is to use Figma. You can use, of course, a myriad of other tools like Illustrator or Sketch or Adobe XD, but I prefer using Figma because it's fast and free. Now we can attack this from different angles. So we can start maybe by uh, the, the, the easiest one, which is to create uh, with a pen tool, we can actually just start creating any sort of wave. This is very customizable and it's the I wouldn't say it's the fastest because in my preference here in, in Figma, I like to use a plugin that's called Get Waves, where I come here, Get Waves, and it allows me to create a random wave for as many uh, waves I, I want. They could be upward, downward, square, triangles. It's very useful for creating something um, that is very dis distinct, right? So let's say I want one like this, and then I click Create, and that's it. I can tweak it as much as I want. I can change its color, and it also has all of all of its notes, so I can also modify it. So that won't be an issue. And what I did here is I already created one here, and I exported it for us, so it's a little bit easier. Now, if you don't have Figma but you like to use something like this, this plugin actually has a website that you can use. That's called GetWaves.io which serves the exact same purpose that you can randomize and you can download it as, a, as an SVG file. All right, back to Webflow. So here I already uploaded my, my WAV file. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to apply my, my file as a background for this section. Let's go to my WAV section. Let's go to backgrounds, image and gradient. And in here, I'm going to choose my image. I'm going to set it that I don't want it to tile. I'm going to put it to contain, it's not a 2x, two, uh, two so once again contain, and then I'm going to set it uh, at the bottom in position. And in this specific case, that's, that was all that I needed to do. It works perfectly. Now in other cases where perhaps your wave is a little bit more complex, you're going to need to uh, actually take this other section that's below and put a negative margin on it. Let's let's uh, let's do it right here, like minus one or minus two pixels. So it goes above this because sometimes uh, you, putting this background uh, in the bottom creates like a one pixel uh, gap that is that's visible, like a white background, and we don't want it bleeding, right? So that's what we do. We just put it minus one. So that's it, guys. It's very easy. Uh, I prefer using uh, doing it in Figma. It's very very fast. Now, if you're also using Figma or you're interested in learning a, li a little bit more about its plugins, I have a video that's called the 10, uh, 10 best plugins that I use for it. So you can watch it in, uh, in the card or down below in the description. And I also would appreciate that if, if you would subscribe to my channel in order to get tuned for more content about web design and Webflow development. Alright, hope you find value in this and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.